Oh, hi! This week, as dictated by not having any sleeves on, it is finally nice weather. We're in the 60s for like multiple days. It may get cold again, but I'm trying to just enjoy the sun and not having to have 10,000 layers on just to stand outside to let my dog pee on stuff. It's glorious. I'm trying to truly take time, assess, and appreciate all of the good things happening because it's very easy to get sucked into the shit, which is where I felt I've been for a while. So to continue hunting for dopamine, I love stress cleaning. I'm going to overhaul my closet again. I'm going about it in a different way though. A couple years ago I did the whole Marie Kondo does a spark joy, which I'm gonna do again. I don't know that there's any new store-bought clothes and that include like thrifted stuff. I mean I almost never buy anything new. I certainly haven't the past couple years and anything new in my closet is stuff that I've made, which is pretty fucking cool to feel that way. There's definitely garments in my closet that I like, but I don't wear because there's something about it that I need to fix. Well, I never wear this because it doesn't have pockets. Well, I never wear this because the hem is cool, but practically it doesn't work, so I need to rehem it. I'm going to go through all of my stuff. Probably gonna still donate some because I may have phased out of wearing some of the clothes entirely. I'm sewing for myself to build a sustainable wardrobe, but if I'm just sewing to let it die on a hanger and never get touched again, is that helpful? So I'm gonna do this section by section. I was inspired by the closet historian and how she she tackled her closet overhaul. Let us start with the dresses, I think. So we'll just pick an end and start, huh? This is wildly comfortable dress keeping. It does have little loops here. I sometimes wear a belt with it. I don't love wearing it on its own because it's an empire waisted thing, but I found a skirt that I like wearing over this part. Fucking love the outfit, so keeping. This dress, I did fix an issue I was having with the sleeves, so that's good. It's a little bit long though, so I'm going to cut the bottom off of this. This dress, perfect as is, love it. This dress, I forgot about. Good summer dress, I think. Gonna keep it. <laughs> perfect for winter parties and such keeping. Both of these are some of my favorite dresses. It was this dress in particular that made me realize, oh, a la jewel tones. Okay, now this is a dress I do like. I feel like I gotta do something, I'm not sure. I'm putting this in the alterations pile though. This one, I guess I clumped these all together. I just need to shorten the sleeve. This dress is one I did an alteration for up here where I completely changed the neckline. It used to be like a high button up shirt dress. Only problem is, I need to make some like cross straps along the back. I think I have enough scraps from the longer sleeves. I can do that. So that's also going over here. Both of these fucking love. I just need to iron them. So different pile. <laughs> My flannel halter top dress that is an example of something I made and then I added a little tweak to it because I didn't love wearing it as was. The back bit here kept drooping down even though there's elastic across it so I just added this lace and trim detail along the back and now I fucking love wearing this. That's the kind of life I want to give to these garments over here. Yep, yeah, these are both great. I love wearing this. Love the alteration I did to it. Yeah, I gotta keep that. This one is actually only good for under costumes, so I should put it in my costume rack. This is kind of a meh dress, but this is my default, like, going to a funeral dress, which is kind of dark, but it's good to have. Comfortable, I can throw it on, and it's very understated, so I feel like it's good for that type of event. These two are very silly dresses. This is the maxi dress I made last year. This is a favorite dress of mine. It has a great neckline, faux neckline. I don't know what you would call that. And it has a nice full circle skirt at the bottom. Just, oh, it's so good with a belt. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I forgot about this dress. Okay, you know what? Because I have this one, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Perfectly nice dress. It's very flattering actually, and it's my colors, but like so not my style anymore. Oh, this is another one. I enjoy a lot. I think I want to add pockets to this though. Yeah, I think this one's getting pockets. I feel very cool when I'm wearing this dress. I'm also going to add pockets to this one. Is the only issue with this dress. I fucking love everything else about it. This one is a very good fancy going out dress. I feel good in this one. It's not my typical style, but it's nice. I went to see a show at a theater down in Boston. So this is like the type of thing I feel good wearing at that type of event. This one is like fairy tale nightgown, whatever. It's it's gorgeous, but I'm just never gonna wear it. And this one with the stripes, the top has never quite been it. And it just, I feel like a cupcake in it. And I don't mind a cupcakey skirt, but it needs to sit lower. Okay, now the black and white one. I am surprised how much I like this one. It's still super comfortable. I think I'll keep it. I just need to make a point to wear it more. Then this polka dot thing. It's not super my style, but something about it. I just feel very good when I have it on. And 
again, I just need to find more times to wear it. Then there's this blue one where like, there's nothing I dislike about it looks wise. It's just when I have worn it for a long chunk of time, the armholes kind of like irritate me. They don't fit my armpit meat. So I think I just need to widen the armhole. All right, I took some time to adjust some of the dresses already. This one, I already chopped the bottom. This is a knit, meaning I didn't feel the need to hem the bottom, but I did want to shorten this. So I just folded up the skirt until it looked nice and even. And then I took my rotary cutter to it, cleaned up the edges, and now it's a shorter dress that I'm going to wear more often. For this one, I took care of the sleeves. I cut the sleeve at a part that I wanted. And then I decided I wanted to keep the original cuffs. So I cut those off and then just added them like you would any other band. And I did a row of top stitching to keep the seam allowance facing up towards the sleeve because I hate when it sticks out into the cuff. And yeah, this is like perfect length now. And then this dress I put on and yeah, the shoulders are always falling down because there's so little fabric along the neckline on the front and the back. So I just got a general measurement and I found the exact same fabric in my scrap pile. This is the perk of hoarding everything forever and always. So I just roughly placed the scrap across the back until it seemed like a decent length. Then I made a little tube, just like an inch wide. And now it's gonna hold my dress up, which is really exciting because that's one of my favorite makes from last year and I never wear it because it's always falling off my shoulders, so. Now that problem is fixed. Then I opened up the armholes on this. So this has a sheer outer layer, but it has a lining. So I opened up the side seam of the lining on one side, pulled out that underarm seam. So I measured down that side seam once it was flipped and everything was right sides together an inch and a half. And then I marked three inches either side of that seam and then just made it lower and then cut out the extra fabric. So now I have way more room where this was another inch up. Can you imagine? So initially I was thinking I would get all this done in one video, which is heinous. But I think this will be a three part series for me. I've tackled my dresses. I do still have two dresses that need pockets and then I have some ironing to do. And then my entire dress collection is going back into the closet, which feels amazing. Other than this one, I think this may need a little bit more work. So please let me know ideas. Things seem so obvious to y'all that I just can't even fathom coming up with. So if, if you have ideas, I'd appreciate some input. Feels rad. These are things I've been thinking about doing for years and they weren't that much work. I'm gonna do another video on my skirts and then I'd love to go through all my tops. I don't know if there's as many alterations to get done or if it's just gonna be a matter of does it spark a joy or not? But I think it'll be helpful to go through. There's some mending to do for sure on some of my sweaters and stuff. So if those types of fixes are interesting, I'm just excited to like fix my closet because yes, there are some things I got rid of, but most of it is just making those adjustments and alterations of stuff I already have, which I don't know. This feels very good to have this done and is giving me momentum to go on to the next one. So if you would like, a skirts and then tops video. That sounds interesting. Let me know. It's something I'm going to do regardless, but if you'd like to see the process and it was helpful seeing like just the little tweaks I did to my own clothes to make them more wearable, I, I think it might be helpful. Bert and I would also like to give a humongous thank you to everyone over on our Patreon. Y'all are why I'm able to do this in the first place. I'm able to take a whole day to kind of cull my wardrobe and what a fucking incredible gift that is. I'm glad you seem to like what I'm doing. Means a lot. Anyways, I think someone's trying to tell me that it is dinner time, so we're gonna go eat and try to, I don't know, do that relaxing thing for a little bit. I hope this has been cool to see, and I will see you all back here with another video next Friday. Thank you so much for hanging out.